Well, fine. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I am in Leicester, Vermont today, which is uh, south of Middlebury by, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes. So I'm not sure what that, that is in time. It depends on traffic. Anyway, I've come specifically to uh, film this building in front of front of us and I have to say the pictures online are so much nicer than the reality of it all. Wow, that's so sad. Anyway, but before I start talking about this building and perhaps you, uh, you're you guessing what this is, I know when I saw it, I thought, oh, I know how this started life and sure enough, it's always nice to be right, to have that stuff confirmed. Um, but I'm at 98 subscribers, 98. I think you know what happens when I hit 100, right? Do I need to tell you? I probably do, in case this is your first video with me. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to film a, a special behind the scenes look at what it takes for me to produce a video for you. You know, the equipment failures, the Patricia failures, I'm so embarrassed about those. The, uh, the stupid things, a small percentage of our fellow human beings uh, do. I mean, geez Louise. Now, some of that I just need to reframe in my head, but uh, others of it say, oh my gosh, just don't do that. I mean, if they do that, that stupid stuff with me, what are they doing with other people? Oh my gosh. Anyway, there, there are those things. Um, how do I select what I'm going to film? You may be curious about that. Even if you're not, I'm going to tell you. Uh, because I used to do it mainly one way, and I do go back to that that um, style because I'm familiar with it, and I like it. And, uh, and now I do it uh, primarily another way. So um, it just depends on where I am. And then at the very end of that video, I'm going to share with you two creepy experiences I had each in a cemetery, and understand I do not consider cemeteries creepy whatsoever. People though, people never cease to amaze me. Um, but uh, these two experiences were creepy enough that my, my, my gut said get away. So uh, when I tell you these stories, uh, I think the first one will just seem innocuous, but the second one, mm, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, um, so that's what you get for once I hit 100 subscribers, and I'm at 98. So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you're watching this and you like my content and you haven't subscribed, go ahead. Go ahead and click and subscribe, and then click on the notifications bell. You'll be notified each and every time I upload a brand new shiny video, which as of November 2021 is still every day of the week. That may change. We are heading into winter weather, and... Um, I no longer wish to drive in inclement weather. So, uh, anyway, but I'll do my best. I'll do my best for you, by you. All right, so this building right here, have you figured out what it was? What it started life as? Well, this was the Stagecoach Inn. And this is an historic building at the corner of US Route 7. This one here is Route 7, and Fern Lake Road. And this is uh, Fern Lake Road right here where I'm standing. And it's, a, it's in the center of Leicester, Vermont. Built around 1830, it is one of the best presented examples of a 19th century stagecoach accommodation between Rutland and Virgins, with a distinctive combination of federal and Greek revival architectural elements. Now converted to a residence, it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1984. Before I give you any more history, I'm hoping you can help me out here. So, the photographs for this will be on uh, my Instagram page, which is instagram.com forward slash traveling for history, one L in traveling, the word four is written out. Or on Facebook, uh, traveling for history. Say <laughs> spelling, all that good stuff. But I don't think I can, yeah, I can't pan in enough. But uh, this. Uh, this green sign right here says something house. And I don't know what it says. I cannot read it for the life of me. It's, it's, it's got, uh, uh, it's not paint, but uh, maybe dirt on it. And it's, it's, 
it's unreadable from where I'm standing. And I don't actually want to walk on someone's property because although it's boarded up to some de for a good degree, it uh, may still be in use by someone. But if you can uh, figure that out, once I look at my pictures and look closer at them, maybe I can figure it out. I think between, between us, we can figure it out. The former stagecoach inn stands facing south toward Fern Lake Road, just east of its junction with US 7, across which Leicester's, uh, excuse me, Leicester's small town center is located. It is a two and a half story wood frame structure with a side gable roof and clabbered exterior. It is set on a modern concrete block foundation because it was moved back from the highway and turned 90 degrees in 1977. Its most distinctive exterior feature is this beautiful two-story front porch, which is recessed under the main roof. The porch is supported by Doric columns with differing details on the first and second floors. I'll come back and uh, point those out to you uh, when I'm finished talking about this. The main entrance is at the center of the five-bay facade. You see that door on the first floor? Um, go ahead and in for you. That's the uh, front door right there. Beautiful, beautiful door. In spite of the rest of the place being well boarded up. Okay. So these, the the uh, this front port, this front door, the front entrance is um, flanked by side light windows and pilasters. Oh, I love side light windows and pilasters. So the pilasters are built in columns and uh, side lights are on either side of the door. I'll point those out to you in um, just a moment. You'll probably see them anyway, but I'll point them out after I'm finished talking more about this. Um, with a port entrance directly above, which has similar pilasters. An integral L, Retains original uh, features on the interior, including woodwork and door hardware, fireplace surrounds, and stencil work on the walls. Wouldn't it be great to see the interior of this place? Wow, that would be amazing. The structure's construction date is uncertain, but it was probably begun before 1830, intended to be a retail store. It was purchased by Dr. William Gile, a prominent local physician who is credited with completing the building's construction and opening it as a traveler's accommodation on the Rutland Virgin stagecoach route, which is now uh, US 7. It was operated as such until 1859 and also served as a local social meeting point. It was thereafter converted into a strictly retail space, serving as a general store and post office into the 20th century when it was converted into a private residence. It was moved, remaining on its five acre or two hectare lot, in 1977 because its location, close to the main road, impeded sight lines from Fern Lake Road. Alrighty, on that note, let's do a, not really a walk around, but uh, from the roadway here, let's do a sort of walk around. In case you're wondering about the temperature today, it's 41 degrees Fahrenheit. And that wind is blustery. Holy cow. I mean, I've got my down jacket on, my hat with the ear flaps. It's a baseball cap with the ear flaps. It's not the most attractive look, but it works for me. And I'm uh, working hard to be uh, warm enough. At least my head. If I knew that no one lived here, I would be on the property looking around. But trespassing is nothing I want to get into today. But it's sad. It's really sad, to be perfectly honest. If you look at the picture online, it looks much, much better. I mean, the barn doesn't look that good online. And the barn looks even worse in person. Oh yes, I meant to t tell you about the, the door and the side lights. I forgot, or the plasters and the side lights. So the uh, side lights are on 
either side of the front door. Uh, these right here are side lights. Those are windows that would have extended from the top of the door down to the, uh, almost to the floor. They get their name because they're on the either side of a, of a door and they let in light. Pilasters are, well, we can't see them from here, uh, really. I mean, I can't see them. If you look in the photographs, you'll see them there. On, um, around the door, what we call trim inside is, uh, they're calling it pilaster here. So, uh, a pilaster is a column that's built into a wall. The Doric columns, and they did say there are two different designs between the uh, first floor and the second floor. The uh, first floor has these square pieces at the top, and the upper story has a circular piece at the top. Now, the Doric column, in, uh, in terms of Greek columns, is the most basic of the columns, but still it's a nice design. We can see there are the stallions, maybe, on the... Uh, on the uh, shutters, like st they're horses anyway, they look like stallions. But for those folks who know a lot more about that, those kinds of things than I, please chime in. Tell me, Patricia, what were you smoking? How could you not know that? There's plenty of stuff I don't know. You can see how close it is to the town green. Uh, that's the uh, that's the um, the uh, Lester Meeting House, and beside it, you can almost make it out. You make it at the front there. That's the uh, schoolhouse and uh, town hall. I have videos of each of those. I think by the time you see this one, they'll be up already. And if not, they'll be up soon. This barn has seen better days, that is for sure. Holy cow. Do you see? You see this on the side here? The way it's bowing in. That's not good. The way the uh, roof line has bowed. Maybe you can't see it as well in the video. But you can always pause the video and pinch and see what I'm talking about. side of the building as well. And it's in need of a paint job, no doubt. The galvanized roof is beginning to rust over here. They come uh, further over. I do love a barn. So quintessential Vermont. <laughs> Lived here for 44 years, and uh, I like this stuff as much as anyone. I can see why tourists want to come here and take a look, see at our barns, all that good stuff. There's the L on the back of the property. A later addition. Galvanized roof on uh, this side right here has really rusted as well. And uh, it's not supposed to be brown like that. <laughs> that is not a thing. It's supposed to be that gray metal. That's what galvanized looks like. But it could be painted to preserve it a bit longer. And then, uh, in case you can't tell, that window up here is totally open to the elements. That's, that never helps a building, ever. All right, well, this is the Stagecoach Inn in Leicester, Vermont. That's Route 7, which is quite busy today. Uh, so this is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. Thanks so much for coming along with me today. Really appreciate it. And until I see you again, you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.